All right. Jeez, is this thing working? Press one on the chat if this thing is working. I still have no idea how live streams work. Am I live? Let's find out. Maybe not. Okay, it is working. How come I'm not coming up on my own stream? There we go. All right, perfect. Let's see. That's a lot of ones. Thank you. And, and a two. All right. Well, this was quite a day and a half uh, seeing the response to some of this stuff. So for those of you who don't know, um, Undead Chronic and Hammerhand MGTOW creators had a little issue with a previous stream and they made a three and a half hour live stream, two hours of which talking about my content, which is probably the least well-researched uh, live stream I've ever seen in my entire life. Holy crap, so much of their information about my channel in particular was completely incorrect to the point where I would call it slander. Like, holy crap, their journalistic standards are, are pretty much zero. And for those of you who saw my, my video on Ludwig, Hassan, and Vosh, my big, big issue with some of these creators is that they just do absolutely no research on any of the content they talk about. So it's very, very easy to say, well, what about this over here? And then suddenly their whole points get destroyed. So um, let's take a look. And of course, as always, they have to like arrogantly admit that they don't actually watch the content. So they're going to make a shitload of mistakes. Um, I figured this would be a decent chance because people keep asking me. I've had to mention it multiple times. Why not just make a video talking about why I started to distance myself from MGTOW three years ago. Well, well, two and a half or two years and nine months, or roughly so, was the last video I mentioned MGTOW in and uh, was being critical of MGTOW in that video, by the way, certain parts of it, while also commenting on a creator named Rachel Oates. This is like, geez, June 5th, 2020. Uh, not last week. It's not like I, I um, just suddenly shifted because I got a girlfriend. Holy crap. Like, if you did any research on the content, you would know that. Oh, by the way, because before I get accused of not reading certain super chats, if you super chat me and just insult me or name call me, just thanks for the free money. I'm not going to read it. If you super chat me with a criticism, I might I'll read it. Well, we'll see. I, I apologize if you super chat me with a criticism or any any sort of uh, addition to the conversation. I miss it. I'm still pretty new at this. Um, I I may miss it, but certainly I'm not going to read. Well, I'll read this one. Immortal Phoenix or whatever the hell this is. Uh, put this up on screen. Ten dollars super chat. Does that work? There it goes. Look at that. Just insulting me, blah, 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 blah. Thanks for the $10. Uh, that will probably be the last insult super chat that I throw up on screen, at least for tonight. But holy crap. Let's uh, let's take a look at this. The, the admission of guilt. Uh, I don't actually watch this guy's content. God, this is hard to see with this microphone in the way. I really do need to get an arm for this. Let's see. And uh, this time we'll just be going on to the actual stream. Hopefully these timestamps are precise enough. All right. Anyway, here's the admission from Hammerhand that they've never really watched any of my content. And you can tell because they have a lot of really bad takes that would easily be sorted out if you just watch the videos. Let's throw this one up here. Uh, how do we do this? All right, anyway. Let's see. Small screen. Isn't that how you do it? There we go. Oh, let me just move myself out of the way this just so you can see the name of the video i'll try to do that for every video just in case uh, things don't archive properly again mission of guilt they don't actually watch my content uh, fill in his thing before you the number exposed <laughs> they're talking about if you search my videos it goes for exposed that's like most content creators that happens so they, are they in the same stream talking about this no i haven't seen any of his videos so so undead chronic admitting that he's never seen in my videos i watched uh you know, when people were trying to get me to collab with him, I watched about half of one of his streams. And I said, Dana, I don't think so. With, with so he's watched half of a stream. Uh, how long was the collab, uh, the collaboration request? I mean, the first time I streamed was like a month ago. So again, really not that much. I've been here for four years. I know both of your guys' content. I mean, not super, super well, but I've watched your videos in the past. So uh, just, again, the nice admission of guilt that they've never seen my content, which will make a lot of this upcoming stuff make sense. And uh, let's see, super chatted uh, Scurvy DK. I like both you and Chronic. You guys have helped me a lot with a lot of stuff, but I suggest you set up a debate with them. No, we'll see. 
Uh, I get to have my video where I get to talk with him. I know he's in chat right now, but I get to talk without interruption. And then maybe there will be a debate. I'm not really sure. I don't feel like helping the smaller creator like that who's just going to shit on me the whole time. We'll see. Like, I, I don't like debates where people just name call and that, that's the this dumbest bullshit ever. Let's see. All right. Anyway. So with that, that, that being said, never watch my content. Here's a, a fucking galaxy brain take from, uh, and anybody who actually does watch my content will know how, how wrong this is. Let's see. Sorry, I have to kind of like look around my microphone to see the screen. And I don't know if I can get this like exactly because the timestamp is 11.42. Oh, sorry, yeah, it's wrong. Boom, boom, boom. Again, my apologies for, for the lack of professionalism here. I just started streaming like a month ago. Anyway. Together. They're not prepared to hear it. See, he defended Roma Army when she was riffing Kyle Rittenhouse. So I they just like stop it there. I know that they, well, let me just let the whole thing play. I yep. guess he also, and look, I didn't know anything about this guy before he simped out because I just, anytime someone was like. Oh, okay. I guess that was it. I'm just saying that he also does not watch my content and didn't do like, what, literally five seconds of research. Here, let me Google this crap for you. Um, let me put this back for a second. Five seconds of research to find. All you have to do is type in, go to my channel. Let's do that. Play a little, let, let me Google for you, this for you game. Go to my channel. Go to the search thing. So let me put that up there just in case they are, uh, don't know how to do this. Like go to the channel, go to search, type in Kyle Rittenhouse. Look at that. Here's a full video defending Kyle Rittenhouse and saying that, you know, this guy here, Gage Grosskreutz, totally lied, pointed a gun at uh, Kyle's face and stuff like that. Holy crap. Whole 20 minute video defending Kyle Rittenhouse. Could have found that in five seconds. You also could have found, um, let me just throw out the rest of it because that's not the only time they talk about it. There's a second one that's even worse. Like, holy crap. I was the one who, who the first big creator who brought up that Chloe was a grifter. And that video has almost a million views on it. Like, it would have taken three seconds of research. Let's see. Hmm. Where is it? Where's the other Roma Army thing? He said uh, something along the lines of, I wish Kyle Rittenhouse was, was in jail. Uh, that's not what I wanted up there. Let's see. Let me just go back to the full timestamps. I think it's only like a minute or so later. Okay. Literally happens like right after. Let's, uh, let's go back to this. Collab would think before. And By the way, I just went on it. Assuming that I would collab with you guys, and by the way, like I said, I knew who both of you were before this drama, and the answer would be no. Like, I, I gave Hammerhand the benefit of the doubt with the whole Better Bachelor thing where he was, like, reading at Better Bachelor for saying, hey, if there's a woman in the comment section, you don't have to, like, instantly say she's, like, a blah, 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 or instantly criticize her. Criticize her if she's got bad commentary, not because she's a woman, and the Hammerhand just flipped out about that. Apparently, he has not actually grown as a person in that two years or so since that happened. Anyway, uh, another uh, basically wrong statement that, that's very close to slander, and we'll get to why. Don't believe hypergamy exists via the OK. Um, that's not what I said about OKCupid, okay by the way. Just simply said his beliefs. On a posting tire, and a lot of his subs don't really know his views. If he just went on a posting tirade, if he and didn't even like attack him, but he just simply said his beliefs, I don't believe hypergamy exists via the OKCupid okay study. I don't think I think Kyle Rittenhouse should be in jail. I think OnlyFans content creators are the best MRA activists. If he just said what he's already like, holy crap! I made a whole video crapping on Roma Army. I made two videos crapping on Roma Army for her her OnlyFans content, and even said where she has this video about like her hating incels and where she talks about how she uh, for her highest tier it's like fifty. It depends on if it's on sale or not. For fifty to hundred bucks, you can subscribe to her highest tier, where she will personally DM you. And know that uh, know about your personal life and send you uh, tasteful nudes. Um, who's going to buy that content? Well, incels are going to buy that content. 
So anyway. Uh, by the way, let me let me point out. I said, I, yeah, because the video, if you don't actually watch the video, the point of the apology to Roma Army was was two things. There's a sales tactic where you try to make it so you have both results that you want. So two things would have happened from that video. One, she would have uh, accepted the apology, like, hey, maybe I went a tiny bit far on this part here of the video. Maybe I was a little empathetic. Okay, and she accepts the apology, and, and then we just ignore each other for the rest of the time being. Or she does the sociopathic thing and then just shits on me for the apology and proves that I was right that she's a grifter. Um, so that was the point of that video. Again, uh, by the way, uh, we have a, so him saying a bunch of completely incorrect information about me supporting Roma Army, no way. Again, let, let me just show you, <laughs> do I have to show people the video and how many views it has on that? Like, holy crap. Sorry, I wish I had time to make a video on this stuff like that, but this would take two weeks and it's not worth it. Let's see, to my most popular section. And yeah, 920K views, holy crap. You could have taken, again, literally five seconds of research to find this out. Sorry for the dead air. Let's see. Let's throw that up there. Yeah, not like this is like a, a a small video of mine. This is like what? I think it's like top 30 videos of all time. Anyway. Let's see. Lots of two dollar super chats. Are you gonna like? I mean, if you're gonna shit on me, give me more money. Let, let's. Uh, <laughs> geez, really hope you real. This one's nice. Oh, you're awesome, bro. Really hope you reach a million subs soon. Um, and then says something in Spanish that I don't understand. Let's see. All right, let's move on. Uh, again. Uh, another thing does not watch my content. Does oh, not know that I dropped this stuff years ago. Um, and let's, yeah, here's a better timestamp because I can actually prove they're like, oh, he had hundreds of thousands of subscribers and then he dropped MGTOW because he wants to be in the part of the normie sphere. I was like, no, that's not why I dropped it. The million I dropped it because of a BS like this where it's like more and less about, oh, hey, let's point out some bad things about family court. Hey, let's point out some cases where women are abusive because no one's pointing out places where uh, women are abusive. Um, it, that the meta's changed, so it's a little bit. At least we have like conversations where here's men are abusive, here's where women are abusive. At least there's some conversation. There used to not be that conversation, uh, and then now it's become just about um, promoting basically all the same things that feminism promotes, uh, like sexual promiscuity. Uh, you'll see violent uh, the promotion of violent protesting, shitting on your opponents, and actually using facts, reasoning, evidence to to argue their points. Like, this is not what I signed up for when I was doing that kind of content. Let's see. I don't know, maybe I should have just clipped all this stuff and just put it in order. That might have been easier. Well, yep. assume, uh, uh, MGTOW, red pill, MGTOW, red pill. Oh, sorry, I didn't put the stream up. Did I? Let's see. Red pill, then all of a sudden. Yeah, uh, MGTOW, red pill, MGTOW, red pill. Then all of a sudden, as yep. soon as he gets a couple hundred thousand subs, he just drops it. Nope. And let me show you. Like I said, the when I dropped, it was June 5th of 2020. The last video I ever mentioned it on was a Rachel Oates video. I forget what that, that video was called, but you can just look it up. Type in Rachel Oates. I'm going to just do it for you guys. Just make everything easy where I was criticizing some of the violent behavior that MGTOW people were, were promoting on Reddit, by the way, in that video, though I said a lot of um, obviously things against what Rachel Oates was promoting in that video. Let's see. Yeah, so this is the last video that I did where I mentioned MGTOW. This and let's go down to it two years ago, almost three years ago. This one here. That's it, right here, June 5th, 2020. Oh, shit, you can't see it. Let me move myself for a second. There we go. Now you can see it. Anyway, 
back to business. So let's uh, let's go onto the channel and look at how many subscribers I had during June tw uh, June fifth. And by the way, I had already I was already out the door before then, so it might have been even fewer subscribers. I definitely wasn't over a hundred thousand. Let's see. Jeez, you really have to go like. Sorry, I have to like customize this. 2020 to let's see 2021. Let's see if that makes it easier. All right, so let's uh here's the page that shows your subscribers. Fortunately, YouTube will tell you all this stuff. And boom, right there. So let's go to June 40,000, 50,000. June 5th, 58,294. Uh, 58, Not even 100,000 subscribers before that happened. So most of my subscribers were gained after I, I, I transitioned out of it. And I was very transparent about it too. I made the video, I made a community post. I'm sorry I couldn't find the community post because I made like a, fuck, a, like a thousand of them. I spent probably a good 30 minutes looking for it. Let's see. Undead Chronic is not MGTOW. Do you have a response to that? Let's see. Again, thanks for all the free money to insult me. No, most of the same. They're all you see. Hmm. I'm also not going to read super chats that are just blatantly insulting Undead Chronic or, or Hammerhand. Let's actually be at least a slight re bit respectable and just talk about the arguments and not make stupid insults. Let's see. And by the way, if you, if you want to go your own way, I have no problem with that. Holy crap. Like, I never said they're like, oh, he's like attacking people and like saying like, no, I have a problem with people who are in, in charge of the community. I have the problem with people promoting violence and, and you know, saying hashtag MGTOW. Like I would have the problem with anybody promoting violence. Let's see. What's next on the outline? Hmm. Oh, yeah, here's just uh, them calling me ugly because they don't actually have any points. Um, if you actually have points to argue, then you don't have to insult someone's appearance. Whether their commentary is true or not, I don't really care, to be, to be honest, uh, about my appearance. What you'll find is on the internet, people will say you're ugly if they don't like you. It doesn't really matter uh, if they're if that's physical. actually true well, or not. Somebody that's holding on to a million. Let's see. Uh, stats. They would. They're saying, "Oh, I wouldn't get laid if I didn't have my YouTube channel." Who cares? Congratulations. I'm I'm sure I'm so glad Hammerhand and and Under Chronic is so much pussy. If, if he didn't have a YouTube channel, he was just him, look at him. Nobody's going to touch him. That face reveal, That's yeah. That, yeah, and I'm not, I'm, I don't want anybody to think that I'm going in on him and calling him ugly. No, he's well, ugly. You, you absolutely are, by the way. Uh, what, what a gaslight. It's a very feminine behavior for a MGTOW guy. Ugly. I'll, I'll say he's fucking ugly. Looks like the uh, rat I'm not from saying that. I, he, He's just, he's an average fucking guy. Maybe a four, right? Oh, he, oh, I mean, here's, that's a, here's just a little. A four is below average. Like, holy crap. Stick to the arguments. And that's just one example of many. Uh, also said I was a vegan. I don't feel like I need to play that. He said that in his little, like, promo video. I'm not a vegan. I haven't been a vegan for almost a year at this point. Let's see. Like, there, there's so much shit that he says is wrong. And again, like, here's the reason why I wouldn't talk to Ante Chronic is this video here. Let me uh, minimize this. Like, him put under the, the slightest bit of criticism from someone who doesn't agree, and like, holy shit, this is, sorry this is a little old, but like, I don't see any sort of change in the behavior. Oh, by the way, I forgot to bring this up. Here is a video that, that uh, Undead Chronic did on Roma Army. We can look at the comments. Let's scroll down a little bit. Look at those comments. And someone is out here telling him, do I have to do a search function? Yeah, I uh, think before you see cr crushed that 304 a while ago, look at that channel like right there. So he's seen that. 
Uh, I've watched her videos and noticed she likes to sprinkle a bit of feminism here in a while. She's defending men. Just look at the channel's handle, Roma Army, then stands for... Uh, so there was another different comment. Let me just bring it up. But that's, that's to prove that that was actually there in case he says it was photoshopped. Here is the other comment. You guys can look for it yourselves. That's, that's wrong. Okay, here it is. So two comments that he liked. So either I guess he forgot or he, he knew this stuff and he was falsely saying that I liked Roma Army, even though there's a big video on my channel that says I don't. Very, very good journalism from Undead Conic right there. Let's see. All right, next up. Oh, that's what I was going to bring up. I was going to bring up his little debate with Destiny, where Destiny asks very simple questions, and he just has no answer for them. Let's listen to some of that. I'm going to bring that up here. I believe it's here. Yeah. Okay. Let's bring up the video. Post all accident sources as a group. Men pay taxes. Okay. As a group, women use taxes. Not every single woman is a tax drain. Don't Not you think men probably man... pay most of the taxes because men, like, make most of the money? Like, wouldn't this be like saying virgins are actually better off than ultra chads? Because ultra chads probably have women that scrape their dick with their teeth more than ultra virgins. I mean, isn't that just because the ultra chads are getting more head? I mean, like, is this really a good argument? I'm sure that men probably contribute more taxes because men probably earn most of the money, but that's probably a good thing, right? Like, I'm paying more in taxes now than I earned at my job when I was a carpet cleaner, but I'm not complaining about it. It's because I'm earning a lot more money, right? This is true, but <laughs> as a group. So where's the argument? Yeah, there, there's a couple more in here. Let me see if I timestamp where it ends. I'm not sure. We'll just keep letting it play. Realize, not every single man is out there raking in the dough. Well, but those guys that aren't out there raking in the dough probably aren't paying taxes either. Then then it brings it back to the original point. Those guys who rake in all the dough aren't paying taxes, yet still, men as a group pay taxes. So it's not like- Okay, so, so thanks for bringing the group responsibility in here. That's very, very woke of you to do that. Uh, very, very, oh, collective responsibility because a couple people did this, therefore everybody's responsible. Again, you're going to find a lot of similar themes as we go through where it's like you're literally just doing Robin D'Angelo shit. You're doing the same shit that, that I, I sit here and criticize the leftists for all the time. Like a couple outliers or like a couple, you know, financial giga chads paying all Sorry, the let's, let's say radical leftists. Let's be more specific on that. Not everybody who's, who's on the left is a radical or does this stuff. Taxes covering up all the other men. Well, that's because men as a group out earn women as a group. Would pay more taxes, but it's not that women it's not that women pay less taxes than men as a group they are a tax drain it's not a plus it's a negative so should we get so, rid of all women in society i mean nice to see you become a drama channel i've always done drama type topic because i just don't like back and forth drama and it makes sense that women would be a tax drain compared to men when they're probably more likely to earn less and they're more likely to stay at home taking care of children problem is when they're staying at home mm -hmm. taking care of bastards and they're on welfare systems taking men's money that's that's How is that women's fault doesn't it take two people to make a baby wouldn't a bastard child be more the fault of the man because that means he left the woman oh well, it depends right do you lay the blame on the man for fucking a chick getting her pregnant and ditching i think it goes on the woman because she's the one that decided to open up and take the cream pie raw dog See, Isn't that also on the raid, guy? Doesn't it? Why, why would it be a hundred percent percent responsibility either way? It's it's going to be at least a little bit of, of both people's faults. Two to make a baby. It does take two, but women are the gatekeepers of sex. So when a woman has sex with a dude and has kids with him, and he runs off, who was in charge of that situation? I mean, the guy is just as the much as the woman. I mean, both people have to come together. It's like a two-person process, generally, at least from what I'm familiar with. You need two people. Again, there's so much criticism of, like, in in the MGTOW spaces where it's, like, women never take responsibility for anything. Well, how can you not take responsibility? At least at, at, at just we're talking about 10% responsibility for creating a situation like this. It's just, no, it's all women's fault. Like there, there's no nuance in the opinion, and Destiny does bring that up later. I just don't remember the timestamp for it. It's like there's zero nuance in any of these opinions.
it's why it's very, very easy if you talk to somebody who has who's actually another creator or someone who's bigger, like they can just easily take down your points. All right. So another point they brought up a lot is that I don't feel like going to the timestamp for it, is like, oh, I just brought up randomly that I was dating Britney just as like a as like a flex because that's it's not what I do, but that's what they do. The reason I brought up that I, that we were dating is because people kept asking like for months. So like okay, finally. I'll just say it, we're dating. It wasn't a flex. Let's see. I'm sorry, like, wh what is this this crap where, like, Undead Chronic can, can talk about how much pussy he gets, how much date he, dates he goes on, but the second, like, a different creator, like, goes on a date, like, oh, now it's a problem, now she's a whore, she's a thought. What about all the girls you're dating? Are, are we going to expose Undead Chronic for, for going out with women? Let's see. Anyway, let's go on to the next thing. <laughs> let's see. Oh my God, they, they said some wrong crap about a crap about Lacey Green. It's like, oh, she was just like a thirst trap. Like, like you can look at. Oh, let me just play it. Why not? Better to show, don't tell. Like so much of this information is just that we we heard people say things and didn't actually investigate any of the material ourselves. And what you'll find is when when fans say things or people on your side say things, they tend to be wrong about a lot of stuff, or they tend to miss like the wording's different. And when you actually have the correct context, it's you you can't make that interpretation. Which is why when we're talking about the OK Cupid study, which is when I said because uh, there was a kind of a big point of there is like oh he doesn't believe hypergamy exists. Of course hypergamy exists. People everybody's trying to get the best options they can get. But in terms of the OK Cupid study, I read it a couple of years ago. Unfortunately, I couldn't find it for that video, but I read it a few years ago. I was like, from, from, from my interpretation at this point, it does not say that women think most men are ugly and, and, by, and men think most women are attractive. It said something else, but you have to have the, the nuances of the data. And well, if someone sends me that study, I can relook at it. He's not a journalist. I, I, I don't care. Like he's, he's trying to say that, that it, it really, again, a bunch of slanderous crap. So, no. Let's see. Anyway, let's go back to that timestamp. Where was it? So, alleging Lacey Green tried to thirst trap people. If you're going to say that, you need to provide evidence. Because I looked and I couldn't find any in that case. And we'll go through some of the things, or at least a thing I looked at. I'm pretty, I mean, I think she still makes content. Let's go see. Let's find out. Yeah, like what, one one video a fucking year? Yeah, you ain't heard her name in a long fucking time. Just like you don't hear about Shoe on Head anymore. Yeah, she stopped making videos 10 months again. I don't know why she... By the way, Shoe on Head still makes content? Got big. It was the titties. Shoe. It was the titties why she got big. I guess she stopped it's showcasing the, them. It's the basic look. She threw out a couple of thirst trap uh, photos. And uh, she was all in on that fucking uh, LGDTV mafia. Okay, you know, so the, basically saying, I've never seen Lacey Green. Maybe she has. I don't know. She's been a creator for 14 years. Well, she's not really a creator anymore. Not because she, she's, she's washed up. But it's because she never wanted to. Be, this is the research that I went over when I did the video on her. She should, didn't want to be a content creator. She made a couple of videos about sex ed. She was done with it. She, got, she had her fun in that case and then just moved out of YouTube and moved on to whatever she's doing now. Forgot what it was, but let's go to our channel real quick. The most thirst trappy thing I can find on Lacey Green's, cha Lacey Green's channel. Oh, wait, I shouldn't do it on this tab. It's going to ruin my already extremely slow flow with this. So let's look at our most up, popular guys? videos. And bring this back. But the most thirst trappy thing I can find Lacey Green doing is showing a picture of her upper back or of her, her, her shoulder area. She could, t she's talking about nudism, but she could technically be dressed in here. I think there's another one. Let's see. Maybe you guys are seeing it, but th there's like no thirst trap content here whatsoever. Maybe wearing a slightly low cut top. Holy crap, that's, that's so thirst trappy. Like they don't understand why certain people get popular. The reason Lacey Green got popular is because she was talking about a, a topic that wasn't talked about at the time. 
uh, to an audience who wanted to, wanted to know. Like, geez, one of the few content creators that I've seen that did not thirst trap people, that female content creators I've seen that did not thirst trap people into getting views. That is on the left in that case. Hmm. Let's see. What's she looking at the thumbnail? Did I miss something? I might have missed something. Let's see. Oh, she's looking at Pan. Like, th this is one of the most tame, sex-positive creators I've ever seen. Whereas, like, if you look at, what, Adina Rivers, that chick I did on a while ago, we talked about polyamory, like, a, a lot of her stuff is very, like, thirst trappy. Let's see. Hmm. And sorry, I'll, I'll have to, like, go back and, and see if I can read the chat log, and hopefully I get all the super chats that aren't just insults. So I apologize if I miss your super chat. I'll read it later. I'm really trying to as fluidly get through this as, uh, as possible. I'm, at some point, I'll figure out how to do this on live streams properly, but there's a lot of timestamps to go over. Okay, so we got the Lacey Green stuff. We have the, the wage gap part. Let's see, what did I talk about on the wage gap? Okay, so this is where they, they go into Hassan mode, where if you guys watched my video on Hassan, this one here, let me just bring it up. say this video here it's called how people are being radicalized it's right there let me bring that up there right here this one so a lot of times I didn't I think I only went over one instance but I believe I ca counted six instances in the time sense where Hassan would like criticize me for this point one not let me finish my point and criticize me for having an opinion that he would unpause it and later it's an opinion that he agrees with and he would still shit on me for agreeing with the opinion for, for th saying an opinion that he agrees with. Here's them doing that. I, I, I think, like, if you thought, like, this something this ridiculous, like, it just bears fact-checking. Like, it, it's really weird to pivot like this in the middle of content creation. Just like, oh, I spent years talking about how the wage gap is fake, and oh, suddenly, and now I'm saying it's real. Like, you need to double-take and see and look for the nuance of the situation. Where is it? Okay, it's at 40 minutes. Is there a way to, okay, there is a sort of a way to do this precisely. Oh, maybe I should do the whole thing. Because the whole thing, reason I brought up the wage gap was systemic racism and talking about how um, the woke people always bring up like things that are sort of true, but then just give you the wrong solutions or give you the wrong sources. So it, it's real and that's Okay, let me bring this up. But the, the are ethically make more than women. It's just not because wait, 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 here we go. are like that for that, and and so it, it's real in that sense. But the the, the systemic racism because there's more white people than there are of other races. No, no, that that's just a way of being racist towards white people. I think. <clears throat> yeah, and, and there's a lot of things like okay, the wage gap. The wage gap is true. Stop. Okay, again, doesn't let me finish my point. I'm trying to offer nuance here where to say, yes, there is a technical disparity between how much men make and how much women make. The point in pointing that out is to tell you why certain people believe that, not to say that it's because of sexism, because that is stupid. Let's, let's go with that. How her. many videos has this motherfucker made debunking the wage gap? He took them all. A lot. All down, but. How many videos has this motherfucker made debunking the wage gap? He took them all down, by the way. No, I didn't. They're still up. Let's go over a couple. Let's just let's just scroll down my feed, and just from memory, remembering which ones I talked about the wage gap in. Let's see. I bring that back up here. Let's see, I probably talked about it in this one, because we're talking about systemic racism. There's probably talked about it in this one. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I talked about it in this one, because because uh, I talked about it being a, an old argument that's been debunked since like the, the, the freaking 80s. Like Thomas Sola was there debunking the wage gap as there because of sexism in the 80s. Like they've been using this, prop, this, this argument for decades. Let's see, I know there's at least one more in here. It's been, it was created a while ago. Yeah, this one spent a spent like I think a whole two minutes talking about the wage gap and how it's it's 
It's dumb. It's bad science. And not like this video has like one view. It has almost a million views on it. It's not like it's not well-known content. And I'm sure the, re the reason Hammerhand said that is because I have removed videos from my past that were in my MGTOW days. And the reason I did that because a lot of those videos contain things I don't actually agree with currently. Like I remember talk uh, talking at pornography a bunch of years ago. I don't ha agree with those takes. I think pornography can be quite harmful, especially when you're talking about how it, how easy it is for kids to get access to it. So that's, I'll leave it at that for this stream because I was planning on talking about a different one that was actually supposed to go, go today, but this this came up. So decided to talk about this instead. So we'll get to that at some point, but holy crap, there's some freaky stuff going on with pornography. So obviously I'm gonna remove that content that, that shows me promoting it because I don't want that I don't want people getting those ideas. Now, I'm not stupid. Of course, someone's archived that video, but at least it's not influencing tons of people. Because my, my videos don't, my videos aren't like like the courting or Tim Pool where they, they, they make it and, and a week later they don't get views. My videos continuously get views. It's called evergreen content. You recently said the wage gap is real. Yeah, it's real in the fact that, that women make less than men. It's not caused by sexism. That's what feminists are arguing. That's why they're wrong, and that's why they have terrible science. That, that's why they're. That's why people are mad about it. Let's see. Where was I? Oh, if we're done with this clip, let's. I think there was. There's still more to it. Oh, now we're on the second part of it. Let's see. All right, this is where they let me. No, it's not quite yet. He's trying to compromise with the feminists. You can't compromise with them. No. I'm not trying to compromise with the feminists. I'm trying to explain nuance and why they have followers who believe this stuff. Let's see. Well, you, you don't compromise where no compromise is called for or warranted. You don't get to throw faulty, obviously faulty, uh, phallic statistics out there and then try to champion them as being true when they've been yeah. bunked for years. Yeah, no crap. The, the reason you have to offer the nuance is because you're trying to convince people who don't agree with you. You're not just trying to, to echo chamber it, which is if you really want to echo chamber something, insult your opponent, make fun of people who, who believe what they believe, and then just have no nuanced opinions. That's a great way to create an echo chamber. Again, all that's discussed in the video that I did on Vosh, Hassan, and, and Ludwig, uh, Ludwig being the least radical of the three, but like, like or, or yeah, and, and only show your opponent doing bad things, never ever, uh, say anything positive about your opponent. It's a great way to create an e echo chamber and a great way to create a culture of violence. Years and years and years, everybody has accounted for how that statistic came to be and why it was faulty. Correct. Like I said, Thomas Sowell debunked that in the 80s and they're still making the exact same arguments they were making, what, 40 years ago? Everyone, not to mention the fact that it is illegal against the law to discriminate pay wise based on sex correct mm -hmm. it's illegal it's against the fucking law it's been illegal for 40 years yep i think it's been illegal for like 50 or 60 years actually years so and it wasn't necessarily being done prior to law being instituted the law was put in place so that it wouldn't be done and where were women getting paid yeah, all, all the people saying debate no this this is not a fair situation where i don't get to like undead chronic had two unfiltered hours where he got to say whatever he wanted i at least get that courtesy yeah, I don't care if he reacts to it. I'm pretty much done with this after this video. That's the men. What places? I mean, where? How many? D d does debate, this... I, I'm not going to debate Thomas Sowell. I'd probably lose. I'd lose in a debate where I agree with them. <laughs> that guy's too smart. Motherfucker ever talk about how women have a gigantic advantage in, say, prawn, right? I have talked about that. And b by the way, uh, no, never mind. It's a, a sidetrack argument. Where's my, where's the other thing? Let's see. Yeah, there's a skip here. I think that skip would be there, where he's talking about things that are relevant. You just see what I'm gonna say. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's a valid idea. There, men technically make more than women. It's just not because uh, of oppression. Oppression, it's because women make different choices in the, Sorry in the market. Sorry about that. Stop, so he just debunked his prior statement. He's just like, it's a valid idea. I, I, it's a good idea. I agree. No, no. You you have to be hot or cold. I don't say wage gap. If someone said, chronic, do men. Okay. So uh, this this is very, very much cap. Like, like 
you you cut me off before I could finish my opinion. And now that that I've said on a point that agrees with you and basically debunks everything you just said, that I don't talk about this stuff, you're like, oh, you still got to crap on me. This is exactly, exactly what people like Vosh and Hassan do. I spent hours watching them do that. It's the same shit. How are you guys any better? You're doing the same crap. Let's let that play for a second. Average, uh, make more money than women on average every year? Yes. So you think the wage? No, that doesn't exist. You don't give them an inch. It's a simple-minded fucking explanation that these people are looking for, and it's not a. Si Let's see what. It, it is a relatively simple diagnostic. You can understand how we arrive at this. You can also understand how feminists arrived at the conclusion that they were being cheated. It, this dude, like what he's doing now, this is an example of how feminism creeps into men in society. They get you to say it's a good idea, but and then your kids go, "No, it's true." It's not a good idea. And everybody's done, like, who still believes the wage gap except, like, the most radical of people? They've even backtracked on it a lot. They've had to say, like, first of all, is the wage gap because of sexism. Now now it's the wage gap because things unfair or something like that. They've really, really backtracked on that since it's been debunked, like, time and time again over the, like, more so in the past 10 years or so with that first wave anti-feminism in 2014. And now they're just, they're just like, well, now things need to be equitable or whatever the whatever they're saying to, to try to gaslight and use the same argument they've been using for 40 years. That's completely false. Let's see. Let me bring this back up here. All right, and then, so that that's the wage gap thing. And, and here's here's them using this system, basically the systemic racism argument where it's like, oh, there's more of you than, than of them. Therefore, you get to do bad things. It's okay to be racist against white people because more white people than, than other races. It's okay to perpetrate the same evils on us, on them, as long as we're in the ones in charge. Using that same argument. Let's uh, bring it back to here. And like, look, you know, look, if you just look at look at the Manosphere on YouTube, right? And let's say 100% of their content is about shitty decisions women make, right? Sure. It's not a fair view of women if that's all you're consuming. But guess what, Simpoid? Guess what, Chorizo, nose-looking bitch boy? Oh shit! Every single oh oh shit! That's not an argument. That's just an insult of of of, of looks. Holy crap! I don't, I don't know why he gets credit for insulting my appearance. Of this godless society, is pro-feminist satanic bullshit. Go to the movies, feminists. Turn on TV, feminists. Go to college, feminists. Go to work, feminists. Go anywhere else on YouTube, fucking feminists. How much power does the manosphere have compared to the rest of fucking society? Okay, so read Robin D'Angelo's book, White Privilege. She makes the exact same argument. Therefore, we get to be racist. They're they're making the, the oh, the, there's more there's more of us than there are them. Therefore, we get to portray women improperly. We only show women doing bad things. Or a, a, if any woman says something that we like, we'll just oh, she's always a, a thought or a um, a grifter or a pick me, despite the fact that they haven't actually looked in their content. Well, you know, the Undead Chronic literally researches nothing. See, I don't know why he said godless. Clearly, he doesn't believe in any sort of religion because he, he's sexually promiscuous. I'm sure God wouldn't like that. Oh, another uh, another leftist point here. Let's throw it up here. So we, we've already made the the white fragility argument. Therefore, we get to we get to say we get to do all the things that we criticize because there's more of them than us. Let's see. Trying to get it right at the, the point where it's said. I'm so bad at this. Yeah, and the Canadians are still like everywhere. They're just like the the, the, the freedom truckers are, are stupid. They're, they just, it's just the hatred. And the thing is, um, the freedom truckers they were too peaceful. If they acted like Black Lives Matter, they would have gotten what they wanted. Like it's I not agree. enough to honk. We're going to block the Parliament building. Well, they would have been done like the people from January 6th. We still have political prisoners in this they country. The, the, those are the same people. They had the same problems, too. They were too peaceful. Look at look, yeah. look who gets the actual change. Black Lives Matter. They use violence to get what they want. Yeah, there we go. The exact problem they have with leftists. This is, again, a big reason, a big reason why I stopped creating this type of content, because this sentiment is huge. It's huge in some of these creators. So I don't want to be associated with that. I've always promoted nonviolence, and I hate when people say that I'm violent because people like this say this shit. 
literally siding with Black Lives Matter and their tactics. How are you any better than these people? You're doing the same thing. And you know what happens when you do the same exact thing? You're going to get the same results. The only difference is that you're just one, the one in charge. Do you think it's great that that uh, BLM people are trying to, to promote races against white people like it was done on them? you think that's going to create a better society? No, it's, it's going to create the same society that was around 50 years ago or 60 years ago or before that. It's just you just wanted to be – you didn't have the standard. You just wanted to be the one in charge. Jeez. Sorry if my voice sounds a little hoarse. I am sick. I'm trying to get this done before I run out of voice. Oh, again, another another case where he's promoting the same behavior that feminism promotes, which is just sexual promiscuity, which is the you know what creates all the single motherhood and all the broken families is people having sex with with, with random partners every night. So how how can you say godless and, and and you know cite the Bible and shit like that and then do the things that the Bible says not to do? How are you any better? So bring that up. And then before you commit to one, if his listeners can even get that, because only is this the right timestamp? Yeah, only only the, probably the top. Oh yeah, I'm talking about uh, Fresh and Fit has said that you need to sleep with 50 women before you can have uh, before you can get married. So you have this abundance mindset. Again, uh, saying they're anti-feminist, promoting one of the major tenets of feminism, which is sexual promiscuity. Percent of men could have could get that many different partners. Uh, that's not true at all. I don't think I'm that's top ten percent, but I have more. I have over fifty. Let me add nuance that if you practice PUA, you don't have to make a ton of money to get lots of women, or if you go to the gym and are physically attractive. I, I don't. I don't believe personally that I'm top ten percent as far as what he's talking about. Oh, I've had thirty ish. You're top. So, you're top ten you know, percent in shiny head. In shiny heads, shiny heads and beard length. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> out there. I'm pretty out there. That's all we care about. Yeah. That's. <laughs> So, yeah, that's not true at all, man, especially when you consider, like, you take the black community. Oh, my bad. Did you say, did Dead Chronic say his number? I missed oh, it. Top you 10% know, in shiny head. In shiny heads. Shiny heads and beard length. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty out there. I'm pretty out there. That's all we care about. Yeah. That's. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah, that's not true at all, man, especially when you consider, I missed, like, you I take the black it. community in, in particular, right? Where are all of those babies being born? Where are they? If they're not being cut out of the women's uteruses in all of the camps that are being placed around the black community. community. Yeah, literally talking about, you know, the behavior that, that, that causes abortion is sexual promiscuity. So bragging about having 30 sexual partners or, God, I, I swear he said 50 have here somewhere. To get that many different let, me, let me replay it. Uh, that's not true at all. I don't think I'm that's top 10%, but I have more. I have over 50. Okay, so again... By the way, he would call Brittany a whore if she said she had that much, that many partners. She has had, he has multiple times as many sexual partners than she does. Yet she's the whore. Holy crap! We haven't even gotten to the best part yet. By the way, we'll get to that in a little bit. Oh, wow, I've gotten through most of this in forty-eight minutes. Let's uh, bring it back to the outline. Let's see, lots of references. Let's see. By the way, where is the nobody? Everybody likes to say that Bernie has lots of casual sex, but never any brings up any evidence. They're just like LARPing, like they know about her personal life. Oh, here's here's another funny thing. Let me bring that in. Yes. So. There was no educate. There was no movement needed to teach him that. It was just a culture of shaming whores. Yeah, well, you should be shamed for being a whore. So the fem- Again, literally has vastly more sexual partners than the person he's calling a whore, and yet doesn't see the irony here. Is it my mic volumes? Yeah, it's my mic volumes. Okay, I guess. Hopefully. All right. Okay, let's see. And yeah, let's let's just make sure. I'm sure people who are regular viewers of Undead Chronic know that he says stuff like this. But let's just bring up like his views. Single mothers are like the plague of society. One of them says that. The other agrees. Let's see. People are rare, right? Because their yeah. their community has been destroyed by single mother households. Yes, I agree. 
the single mother is a fucking societal plague and they are pushed and encouraged at every turn and yeah. half, and that, half of black people that say they want nothing to do with white people i hope i, sw- I pray to god no okay that's that's not relevant uh he also uh undead chronic parrots that in in the destiny thing too okay so all that stuff there <laughs> let's see well let's let's go to his issues with Brittany venti as we pointed out again very very hypocritical hypocritical behavior does the same shit that woke people do ha- has lots of like again the, the journalistic integrity of taylor lorenz at this point were uh things that are major videos of mine saying that i like roma army or promoted her only fans content these these are major videos of mine um and then then also showing where he's like followers have said hey uh think before you sleep uh criticize this chick and then him liking those comments so he's seen it before All right, let's, uh, I think I'm gonna leave that up. Let's go to the, I can probably delete this one. Oh, I was gonna liken it to this video here by Ryan Long. Like literally Get this along, video but... here where like the woke and the racist person like both agree on everything. Like you guys agree, you just, you just don't agree with who's in power versus there are other people out here who are trying to add nuance and actually trying to, to fix things. All right. Let's uh let's go to the part where he makes fun of Britney for being an orphan, because that's that's really appropriate behavior. Or or makes jokes about it. Hmm. Let's see. A point there. <laughs> Look, you and you and Jack Murphy, you want to uh, take turns? Oh, I missed it. That's after. Let me look at that again. No, it should be there. Take away the right uh, point there. <laughs> Look, you and you and Jack Murphy, you want to uh, take turns? Uh, cross no, Jack Murphy doesn't take turns. Do? Jack Murphy's. No, the why is it? Did I take? Times, yeah. mean? Hmm. So you know, if girls without daddies want to find the daddies in their partner, if she was growing up without a dad or a mom, does that mean it'd be easy to get her in a three-way with me? Is that, is that what you're saying? Uh, probably. Is that is that, her, is that making making fun of someone for being an orphan? That's real. Real cool of you. Um, does it here too? Goes menstruous faster. She has bigger yes. tits on average. She has a higher sex drive than average. So that's just her body telling her to get. Lily, her going up without a father to get out predisposed there. her genes to turn into a hoe bag. All right. And uh, by the way, let's let's talk a little bit about why he's doing some of this stuff. Let's see. Um. Again, a little bit of research would have helped this problem because Brittany does a lot of satire. She does a lot of bits that aren't true or they're making fun of certain things. Here's him taking one of her bits and acting like it is serious and then doubles down after someone told him, hey, it's a bit. Let's see. She's making fun of Kevin Samuels here. Three, six. That's close enough. How about that? Right on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. yeah. Yeah, it's only a minute, so I'm going to play it for you boys. doesn't really give a fuck about me. Okay, and why should she give a fuck about you? Uh, why should anyone? Shit. Why are you entitled? This is the problem with modern men. They're so entitled. They think that they deserve... Okay, I just stop it. Again, as he stops it, he's making. F- she's making fun of Kevin Samuels. This is a bit. This is one of her friends. In 10 seconds. First point I want to emphasize, uh, she says, the problem with modern men is they're so entitled. Let's continue. Hold that thought. For women's time. And, you know, our time is more valuable than the modern man. We only have about 20 years of being able to procreate. And here you are acting entitled as if your time is valued the same as a woman's. And your time is not valued the same as a woman's. So how much time should I give? As much as she requires. Because you're a walking asset. Your value is based on how much you can provide. To well, that's pretty woman. clear, isn't it? She says... You're Again, this is a bit. She doesn't actually believe that. A walking asset. Your time is valued as how much you can provide for a woman. Now, let me give a biology lesson to Brittany Venti. She said, we only have 20 years of being able to I don't have know how children. relevant that is. It's That's kind that of much. stretched. But yeah, sh- we're past the part where it's relevant. You guys can look at that yourselves if you want to. Let's go back to where he gets 
people say it's a bit and then they just double down. It just means if you're wrong, you're wrong. Like it's not that hard to say, oh, oops, I fucked up on that one. By the way, and oops, I fucked up. The the uh, dating stream that I did, the one where like the guy, the the chick was filming the guy, his face was on camera. He's like, I know what women like, and said like a bunch of weird like stuff on that date. Uh, I did call that that video was fake. It did happen to be fake. So um, great acting on that video. It was convincing enough, but it was fake. The first video I showed in the dating 2023 live stream that I did that was fake. We used to take care of. So. You know, um, I think that my big my big shtick against Brittany is she's not worth a tenth of what she thinks she's worth, and she'll talk in this entitled way. And if you listen to who's calling into her show, yeah, it's a Fair. low value. It's not I say low value male in that he's not confident. He, he's not in. He's not dominating Shit. anything. He has to call into a wretched bipolar whore to ask for advice. That's fucking pathetic. But um, producer Tim, have you seen that video we're talking about? I just played. Yeah, yeah, I I watched the well, I listened to it because it came through on your speaker. Mm. Um, but no, I mean it's 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 the exact same thing we've seen over and over and over again, right? Uh, Kevin and Kevin Samuels roasts these girls all the time. Yeah, she's <laughs> making fun of Kevin Samuels. They want it. They come in. They ain't shit, and they demand a six foot five guy. He's got to be making a hundred and fifty k a year. <laughs> He's got to have washboard abs. Bitch, you can't make a bowl of porridge without burning it. The top comment on her own channel, on her own video. She can actually cook. I wouldn't be here with her if she couldn't cook. Let's see. Yo, it's Brittany. You act high and mighty for a girl who's going to be in her 30s streaming online her phone calls with beta men. TikTok indeed. Yeah. If you're a man and you... Let's see. Where's the other one? Here, this is where people say it's a bit. Um, I don't know. I, mean, I, have to li- I don't really know much about her. Uh, I'd have to listen. So, I mean, somebody in the chat says she's trolling. I don't know. If that's yeah, true. this guy's te- stepping back like he should. <laughs> Be more reserved with the opinion before going all in. Maybe, maybe do some research first. Ooh, I, I think I that don't that's mean... an oversimplification. She's not trolling. She means every word that she says. I'm yeah, going to send you a picture be. of her. Well, kind she's of. trolling. Uh, kind of. She, she, her troll is like, uh, it's like when the leftist comedians say that Trump is a hollywood sexual and when they get sued they're saying they're just joking it's a cover oh, it's a she i think I, I think she's being completely honest with that because she's she's like pseudo adjacent red pill and that she's heard the red pill arguments and she's like uh, uh how should i say the best way to describe her is she's she's a kind of bitch that preaches the female dating strategy um advice right? yeah she does that as a bit by the way <laughs> um anyway so we haven't hit the the fun part is that Undead Chronic actually had a chance to call out Brittany Venti for all of her whorish behavior, all of her thoughtery, all of her her um, misguided opinions. Because during the Jack Murphy thing, they were on the Nick Ricada stream a, bit, a year, a year and a half ago. The, God, the Jack Murphy thing was a lot longer ago than I thought it was. I went and rewatched that one. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. actually go into a different document hold on i didn't move that over to the outline because that was the last thing i did all right so undead chronic gets the perfect chance to um call out britney venti for all of her horrible behavior and let's let's see how he handles that let's see yeah I wonder if it's coming through our mic. Oh, it was my I thought mic it was someone else. I'm like, damn, I thought my uh, mic was, I thought my mic was set up was good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Chronic, guess what? Yes. Uh, Brittany did not know about the ultimate grifter and fraud, Derek Jackson. Oh. oh like, these dudes. That's good. That, that gives me a higher opinion of Brittany. I rated, I, I set my bill. Oh, by the way, for, for context, this, this was three days after him calling her a whore and a thought and, and bipolar and stuff like that. It said confirmed bipolar on that. Let me just. Shout out that timestamp because I don't want to go back to that video. Let's see. Where does he say it? Oh, my God. I just said that and I can't find it. Oh, yeah. Um, it was – I must have must have not been listening to because I'm pretty sure we did this. It's between uh, 11936 and 12118. He says she's confirmed as bipolar. Um, no evidence of that. Just says it. Very, 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 very Taylor Wren style journalism there. Hmm, let's see. Anyway, always after Brittany's a uh, live stream just to <laughs> give her some 
some spice, you know, some uh, paprika. By the way, this is <laughs> says he he sent a hate mob to her. Let me go back to that so you can hear it. And doesn't again could have perfect time to, to mention all these horrible things he said about her just three days ago. Higher opinion of Britney. I uh, let me let me prove that by the way. So this was December. Sorry, let me, let me make sure you guys can see that because you probably can't. All right, December uh, 30th, 2021. We go back to the uh, Undead Chronic show. Again, December 27th, literally three days ago, he made this video uh, before the, the stream. Let's bring it back there. Perfect chance to call her out. I sent my boys after Britney's uh, live stream just to <laughs> give her some some spice, you know, some uh, paprika on her taco meat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, so I'm okay. Used so to that. Don't chat worry. chat thing echoes gone. It, so it must oh, have been perfect time. To, perfect time to have said something. I uh, did not say it. Let's see. So we have a, more opportunities hmm. of him actually now simping for Brittany Venti. Now that he's actually talking to her. Let's see. Is that close enough? Hey, man, I know we got a ton of chats. And and time flies. When I, you're I just want to say, I just want to say the other side of the problem too is like the OnlyFans stuff. Mm. Um, I think OnlyFans is part of the problem. By um, the way, d devoutly against OnlyFans, and Brittany has constantly been been called an OnlyFans thought, um, at, at, even though she's devoutly against it, and there's no evidence she's done OnlyFans. I mean, outside of this this bit that she's about to talk about with uh, guys supporting. Mm. Um, I think OnlyFans is part of the problem uh, yeah. with uh, guys supporting that, paying money towards that as well. Um, and mm. the women doing it, uh, they're basically self-harming. Uh, they're uh, queen. <laughs> <laughs> they're queen. I actually, on, I created on, an OnlyFans and I posted Ooh. pictures of my cats on it and I framed oh, it as selling oh, pictures of my pussy. Like, oh, please, come on, Brittany, come no. on. Oh, Undead Chronic mad that she didn't show her boobs on OnlyFans. I think we're... Maybe we got some orbiters or Morse or something like that going there. Maybe he likes her, and that's why he's he's commenting negatively. Come on, come on. Did it work? I made the top ten percent on OnlyFans. Oh, <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Honestly, good for you. Like, look, I want simps to get milk for every last cent. Oh, I want them to get milk. Oh, can I mean it felt good? It felt good that they were like the Coomers were like yes. I get to degrade yes. her and act like she's a product to consume and coom to, and then all they get is give a cat me, photo. Give me the cappuccino tunlatas, the punitis, please. <laughs> yeah, these simps are ridiculous. So, I so who's the simp for Venti right now? I mean, jeez. Where was it? There was another one. And again, th this stream's still up. Let me, let me. Uh, just in case I forget to put this uh, in the description, you can look. There's the title there. It's still up. You can see all this. He starts. Did I put a, a starting timestamp for him? You can just look it up. But he, he starts around two hours and 30 minutes, and they're on for about an hour and a half talking about the Jack Murphy stuff. What else? Uh, another. Let's see, 314. Let me ask. Uh, let me ask a question here, uh, Brittany. Would you ever consider a serious relationship with a man who did um, online pornography no. with dildos and? <laughs> let me just stop you there. No. Uh, no. Yeah, that was a quick no. You know, the faster you interrupt me, the more respect I have for you. That's the truth. Oh, what happened to you're such a thought? You you are are low down and, and degradable. I mean, it's not like he, he said that three days before this, but he also said it in his, his live stream about what a low-class chick she is. So then here, all he's doing is complimenting her this entire stream. <laughs> that well, my well, the thing is, though, is that, look, you we start to see more and more articles, right? Like, put boys in dresses. Hey, guys, here's okay, the reason why. irrelevant. Let's see. So we've got uh, Undead Chronic being a gentleman here. Uh, when they, they finally sign out about... I mean, 30 minutes after that. Let's see. Ladies first is a true fedora. 
Uh, yeah, so going, Chronic going and super, while we no, just yeah. burn well, she'll, they can shield their stuff before they leave. Yes, that's yeah. what I was gonna say. Yeah. You, you guys aren't even letting me finish. I'm cucking you. Tell people where they can find each of you, and uh, and then we will uh, we will go through. <laughs> we'll do the bearded super chats. Yeah, you, you go first, Fenty. You go first. Oh, why is that? Why do ladies I have to first. go first? Late ladies first, I guess. Okay. I don't know. By the way, as 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 far as uh, alleged by Brittany and by my agent who were there for chat, uh, the chat replay was was um thrown out. But apparently during these seconds, people were just dumping on Undead Chronic for simping for her and not calling her out for the things that uh, he was saying literally three days ago. In, in this case, and then uh, at the very end, just uh, waits for her to leave and then says this behind her back. Simps for her yet again. I love Britney's tatas. Bye. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank Get you. Bye. 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 Get out of here. So, again, simping really hard for that this person who's such a whore and all these bad things uh, could not say it in, to her face at all. Why would you even care? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. All right, I will get to the super chats, and I'll do the to the best of my ability. Try to read all of them, or read all the ones that are relevant. And again, thanks for all the people who are insulting me. Thanks for all the free money. I'm not going to read your chats. Do I have anything else? I do have other things. Let's see. Let me close the screen first. All right, geez, this is like a. I feel like this is way too complex. Person, this is like a, a rushed video. I'm so I'm sorry about the the flow of the the content, but. This is how it has to go, I guess, for now. Let's see. Fine with that. Let's see. I think I already addressed that. They said I was crapping on everybody who's in this, the people. It's not what I was doing. I was crapping on creators who were saying really, really, uh, again, basically just doing. Let me let me go for the thing. Might as well just bring it in context. So it's not it's not confusing as to what I'm talking about. Again, my apologies for all the dead air. People watching this in post, just double speed it. Let's bring that back up. So if I if I went out there tomorrow and decided that I was going to take a shit on MGTOW and Is that not the okay monks and if I went out there tomorrow and decided that I was going to take a shit on MGTOW and monks and men in general trying to free themselves from usury. Yeah, that's not at all what I did. What I did was I called out behavior that was, again, the behavior that you're actually criticizing. You're just doing the same things. So I'm not like, if you want to go monk, if you don't want to interact with women, great. That's fine. You do you. I guarantee you in six months, I'd have 200,000 subs. I, would I guarantee Oh, he's saying like, no, no, you... Again, they they can make this like cope argument where it's like, oh, well, I keep getting banned. That's why I'm undead chronic. I only have fifty thousand subs because I keep getting banned. Here's what would happen with your type of content because I've been doing this for a long time. Is that you would probably cap out at about a hundred thousand uh, subscribers, and then people would just stop. Well, and you would slowly go down unless you improved in your skill. Like like the title's terrible. Like this, you're 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 doing this. Like you're four or five years in as a creator, and you're titling your show. Uh, show one one ninety two is the first thing people see. That's not how you title content. Oh, my bad. Sorry, I'm in the way. Let me let me put myself over here. That way we can. So, the terrible titling. How you title a show is you would start off with this information here. But the problem is, is if you're trying to catch new people, you're not. They're not going to know what that means. And so you would have to say like, this creator is a traitor, or there are people who are grifting in the manosphere, or something like that. Like this doesn't mean anything. This is a terrible title. So again, you you would cap out at about a hundred thousand subscribers, and then you, your channel would just slowly die as people as more and more people got bored of you. Neither of these creators would hit hundreds of thousands of subs at their current scale level. So very, very much a cap. Let's see. Yeah, and here's how you can tell it's a cap because everybody who doesn't know what they're doing says this. It's somewhere around here. Key, I don't know what I'm doing uh, type of commentary. We this too. 
You just put your time in. Yeah, it's just you got to put your time like in and be consistent. That's all. Just put your time in and be consistent. Yeah, just just put that time in. Like you can put your time in for for ten years, and if you don't learn the necessary skills to get views, you won't get views. You, you can make content every single day. Be consistent. Put your time in. You will not get views until you learn how to create stuff. And if you're still making titles like episode one forty eight or whatever your title is, and not actually titling things that people are interested in, or having thumbnails that, that are nothing, that are ter terribly done, you can pay someone $10 and Fiverr to make a, a thumbnail better than that, and that wouldn't really take away from your stream. Very, very much cap right there. Let's see. Oh, and their, their final like, well not final, because this was only, this is like an hour into it. Because I love this. It's very, very much, again, very much feminist behavior is this type of thing here. Well, I didn't want to. I didn't want to do this. I just did it anyway. Yeah, I I'm I'm sorry to see this fella do this. You know, I don't want to come in here and just take a fucking huge shit on him. Then don't. We're, we're at an hour. So I think it took about 10 minutes for the stream to start. We're at an hour in, basically, and you've been shitting on me for this entire hour. If you didn't want to do it, then don't do it. Like, I'll give you an example. So people brought up Undead Chronic and Hammerhand last time I was streaming, and I didn't want to talk about them or crap on them, so I didn't. I said, I watched Undead Chronic a while ago. I don't watch him. And that was it. I, I, there was some drama with Hammerhand and, and Better Bachelor. I gave Hammerhand the benefit of the doubt and said, maybe he's maybe he's he's gone differently on that. And then I stopped talking about them. I didn't spend an hour shitting on them and saying, oh, I don't want to do it. Now, in this case, I'm making this video because I want to. So I'm not here to, to 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 lie to you. Be like, oh, and just like just remove, the, just plausible. Then I'd be. Like, I don't want to do this. It just it just has to be done. I don't want to do it. You you got to do what you L literally do. gaslighting. You got to do, but you got to be truthful about it too. And he has not been truthful. And I've absolutely been truthful about this every step of the way. When I stopped creating MGTOW content, I made a post about it three years ago, almost three years ago. Sacrificed a lot to go out there and get a girlfriend and I'm sad to and see by the way I made this decision before I even knew who Brittany Venti was before I even met her before I even said before I even first talked to her I made this decision so none of this has to do with her you can even see that the, the first time we met it was on a live stream let's see Oh, then, then pulls this like one love shit at the end. Like they'll just crap on you for hours. Oh, be be nice to be good to one another. You guys have good man. Uh, be uh be decent to one another and. Uh... This, this is Hammerhand signing out, saying, "Be decent, be be good. Uh, kiss, kiss, love. Uh, show respect. Where was the respect? Where was the respect for me as a as a content creator?" at all where you could have spent five seconds doing research and actually watching some of the stuff so that you could accurately report your information. How's that being decent? How's it being decent instead of actually talking about my points you just spend an hour shitting on my appearance? How is it decent to misrepresent my arguments and, and say like, oh, well he believes the wage gap is real and then I explain myself and you say, oh, he still believes it's real and, and not admit your mistake. Like that's not being decent at all. So I don't know. Like they, they like always like they'll sit there and like the leftists will sit there and promote the most racist crap, promote the most violent crap, and go, "Oh, one love, be nice and be good, uh, love you all, bye, spread love, spread spread happiness." After they just, after they just went on like a fifteen minute diatribe of racism, leftists do that shit all the time. So two hour diatribe and then an hour later is like you know, be decent to each other, be good to each other. Like where where are you? How are you showing that? And, and very much so. Here's a here's a, a little content creator advice. There's a thing called show don't tell. This works in everything. Don't tell people information. Show it to them. So if you have like an OK cube to study and you're gonna say I'm wrong about it, why don't you put it on screen? I'll be transparent. Like I'm just going off of memory in that case. I could not find the study because people deleted it from the internet. Now if people still have that study. Please send it to me. Please go to my about page, and then send it to my request line. I need. I, I would like that study so I can go over it and make and, and see if I was correct or not. But you know, show to bring bring up the part where I'm wrong. Show the clips where I'm wrong. Show show the evidence that that Brittany has promoted horrorish behavior. Because when you actually talk to her, you see that she. The only thing that you're like, you spent this this hour or so segment talking about how she's not a whore when you actually talk to her, how she's against some of the things that you said she was for. 
So you can't just tell your viewers to be decent. You actually have to show decent behavior. So if I'm going to say, like, I think it's wrong to criticize people's appearance and um, I think people should stick to the arguments, then I'm not going to spend, well, we've been going for an hour and 15 minutes almost here. I'm not going to spend an hour and 15 minutes crapping on someone's appearance. Now, we don't know what, as far as I know, I don't know what Undead Chronic looks like, but I know what I know what Hammerhand looks like. I could spend, I could have spent this whole time crapping on his appearance. Or am I going to actually live my principles and not do that? So, so you, you can't say be decent and then spend the whole time not doing that. All right, anyway, I think I'm about ready for Super Chats and then I'll just end it if my voice is starting to go. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna do my best to do this. Let's let's read the ones that are on Streamlabs first. Or maybe I should go through Google. Oh God, this is even more of a mess. I'm really, really regretting not reading these as the stream was going on. All right, let's just do it on the Streamlabs ends and hope, hopefully I'll get at least most of them. Let's see, three days ago, an hour ago. Let's see. I'm looking for ones that are actually comments. So I'm not wasting your time saying, uh, let's see, hold on, let's see if this message is relevant. Uh, volume is low. All right, let me increase the volume then. I'm also, my volume's the same as last time, but I'm talking more quietly because my voice hurts, because I'm sick. Let's see. Love the content. Change my outlook on life. Um, I already went over why I did my channel name on the last stream. Just go back to that. Sorry, I don't know the timestamp. Someone says, I like both you and Chronic. What I prefer is that, that we just say, he says his thing about me, I say my thing about them, it's just over and just forget about it. Who cares? Let it, just let it go. I don't prefer the long, drawn-out drama. With, I like drama, in a sense. I like, especially like when other people are doing drama, but I don't prefer the long, drama, long drawn-out drama. People just go back and forth, and no, nothing really gets solved, resolved. Everybody just hates each other. So I think, you know, say your piece, and then we're just done with it. Let's see. Love your work. Been on Patreon for a while. Awesome, bro. Hope you reach a million subs. Let's see. I would have liked to see some actual criticisms from, from Undead Chronics followers that aren't um, just you're an incel or blatant. Like, like I, I get shit on for all three things, like in that video. I get I get called gay, I get called incel, I get called guy who's getting pussy but somehow an incel. I, I don't see how that works out. And then um, Hammerhead says like, oh, no, no, no shit on virgins, but if, if, if this guy's a virgin, he must be a terrible person. So like you can't have like how many double standards are in are in there in that video like holy shit. People in uh, addiction transfer ten dollars. People who misrepresent others, whether intentionally or not, or due to performing the to not performing the most basic research, are worse than grifters. Yeah, or one lies about themselves. Like you're not really helping anybody by doing no research on someone's channel and just by listening to followers. It's like look, what's going what's going to happen? I said this in the the radicals video, is that if a follower says something bad about a creator that I'm I might look at, they're going to show me the worst possible shit from that creator that I could possibly see. And what I like to do is actually be fair and say, well, okay, this is their worst context. Let me see them in a normal context and let me see them in their best context. And we'll kind of find the, the middle ground so that I give a, a fair representation of this person. So you can't just go off of what people say. You actually have to do your own research. And if you're going to say something stupid, like um, and, and obvious, like this, this would this would just be a, a blinking light in my head. It's like, okay, this person believes these things. They probably didn't say this. Let me get the full context on this. This person has this set of beliefs. He probably defended Kyle Rittenhouse versus say he should be in jail. Let me just go on his channel and type in Kyle Rittenhouse to see if I can find a video on that. Could have taken five seconds. He's got this video on Roma Army. Let me see if I can get his take on Roma Army. And maybe spend. By the way, it's not like it takes forever. This literally takes 15 minutes. You can you can spend five seconds researching that. You can speed up the video. So if it's a 20 minute video, it actually takes 10 minutes to watch. Let's see. 
want you for you to agree with you, but you are correct about the MGTOW group becoming a male feminist group. Yeah. Um, I don't think it was that way when I first started watching it. It was mostly about um, like the men getting screwed over royally in divorce court. And now people are like, it, it's happening to women. They're like, oh, let's, uh, ha, ha, let's dunk on them now. Actually, maybe I should. I think I did that with Adele, but I should. Um, like, it shouldn't happen to anybody. It's not just funny because it's now happening to the other side. But I guess what you would hope is that if it happens to the other side, they say, okay, maybe we were wrong about this. Maybe we should improve this. But, like, let's see. Would you say Brittany is a, a clean and honorable female? As far as I'm aware, yeah. And she's always promoted, always been against an, uh, sexual promiscuity. I haven't seen her do any promiscuous behavior in, in real life. Nobody who said that she has has been able to prove it. It says Venti has bagged more bodies than COVID. Uh, prove it. Let's see. Appreciate the con uh, 20, 20 New Zealand dollars. Ricky Curtis, appreciate the content, man. Thank you for the pursuit, pursuit of truth. I enjoyed your video about Bosch and other... I don't recall radicalizing people. I presented very well on the point. Thank you. Sorry for the Let me put that on screen so people can actually see it. Let's see. As for a debate, I'm not sure. I have little patience for this stuff like that. I, 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 if someone sat there and like provided arguments that weren't just insults of my, of my appearance and can actually hold a conversation, I'd be a lot more willing to debate. But the fact, like, I don't have any interest in debating Vosh because that's all Vosh does. I don't have any interest in debating, debating Hassan. I especially don't have any interest in debating someone who has a much smaller platform than I am and needs my platform to fucking grow. So why, why would I help you if all you're going to do is shit on me? Like, you're not actually adding anything to the, to the discussion. You're just trying to, to get shots in on, on, on uh, where you, if you think I'm a simp or not or, or what, uh, what my looks are. That's not actually an argument. So why would I help you out when you're not doing anything that helps society? You're not doing anything that would, would actually challenge my beliefs. Uh, I've seen you in debate with Destiny. You were terrible. Like the smallest questions like ruined you. Let's say it's, uh, thanks for the $5 super chat. Uh, Joshua Clan, great content. Uh, motivating, okay, blah, blah. So I'm trying to, add, to, to say super chats that are relevant to the to the stream. Okay. Um, Tim Dang, $20 super chat. Haven't watched you for a while, but I just want to say MGTOW and the red pill changed my life in the best way possible for the last three years. I was at the lowest point in my life. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Uh, that's great. I'm glad that you're doing better. Let's see. Uh, recently got back in the gym, but can't come out with a workout plan for building muscle. Any tips? Of, I mean, I, I have a degree in exercise science, but I'm not, you can see from my appearance, I'm basically a beginner lifter. I don't feel qualified to give people advice on, on specific workout plan stuff. If you want to learn that stuff, you, there's plenty of YouTube channels that, that go over that. Jeff Nippert is a really good channel that goes over the science of that. Just keep doing research and, and figure it out. Look at the people who are more expert on that. If you had a yoga question, I'd be able to answer that, but I don't really feel... I, I've been weightlifting for, for too little to actually give very, very strong advice on that. Uh, Trash Toast, $10 Super Chat. I just hate how MGTOW now just preaches preaches more division rather than awareness and respect like it should. Yes, another reason why I, I left this up because they, they're they're doing the same divi uh, division tactics that, that the woke people are doing and the feminists were doing or the, the radical feminists were doing. Hope you can find a way to reach a broader audience sometime soon. We need more like you. Thank you. Let's see. Um, Jay Javid, maybe? There we go. Uh, then this one. Let's just throw that name up there. Uh, if it comes up. And all apologies for my inexperience on in how to bring up all the chats. Um, Hopefully I'll get better at that as a streamer. Yeah, this one. Uh, shout out to Chirp Flinging Monkey. Content creator I haven't watched him quite a while. He, I believe he, I watched him on a stream a, a while ago. He, he's, um, as far as I can see, he changed quite a bit. Let's see. 
Can someone explain to me what the zinc thing is? Like, I don't care if people insult me like that. I just want to know the reference. I want to be in on the joke. YouTube friendly TBOS. Yeah, that's why I changed Undead Chronics um, blunt to a uh, a lollipop. I thought that was funny. So shout out to my artists for doing that. Again, thank you for for all the people who are um, sending me money to insult me. Thank you for all the free money. Just rolled right past that super chat. Let's see, um, this guy. It's, I'm too embarrassed to take a shot at that name. Anyway, uh, sometimes I would just put your vids on, vids on to sleep. I guess that ties into the name, LOL, and MGTOW works. But at the top, people talk about women a lot, ironic. Um, I don't have a problem with people talking about women or making that exclusively your content. You just have to be fair. I don't mind feminists bringing up issues about men as long as they're fair. The whole problem with feminism and woke stuff is that they're not they're arguing in a, in a very, like, they're not doing dil due diligence with research. They're posting a lot of things that are obviously fake, and it's like they're not admitting any fault to bad arguments. One of the reasons why I have respect for Lacey Green in that case is because she actually did that, and they were saying that Lacey Green just swapped sides in that stream. She didn't swap sides. She's still very much on the left. The only thing Lacey Green did was say, hey, maybe we shouldn't, maybe we should be a little bit more friendly to each other. The only the only person on her side of the argument that was that was for that was for that kind of treatment, and then and then the the woke radicals just threw her under the bus. Uh, this one here, I try to bring some of these up as I'm talking about them. Uh, how have you pronounced that five dollar super chat? I used to be concerned myself. MGTOW, I stopped when I noticed a lot of bad faith grifting and misrepresentations became the main flavor of MGTOW content. Yeah, I don't think MGTOW was originally like that. I think there was a lot. Uh, higher standards of research. Certainly um, videos from like Coltane and stuff like that had, had pretty high standards of research. A lot of it's becoming poor interpretations or, or again, only showing women doing bad things. So it's like, oh, you, you have a, like, what would you desire women to be? Oh, we're just not going to tell you. We're just going to say women all bad. They can never do anything good. Well, that's exactly what feminism does. So congratulations on doing the same thing. Let's see, uh, Addiction Transfer Jesus, these guys are painful to listen to. I watched a small handful of your videos and I've still heard enough to know that they're blatantly incorrect about everything they said about you. Again, any, anybody who's an actual viewer would know a lot of things that, that are that they're saying are incorrect. Never sent for a Roma army. I've never said Kyle should be thrown in jail. Of course, Kyle should not be thrown in jail. He's obviously in, in self defense in that case. And if Kyle did get thrown in jail, I'd say a lot, it would say a lot of bad things about this country because it would set precedent that if you defend yourself, you can get thrown in jail. In, in, in a very obvious case of self-defense. It has lots and lots of video evidence. Oh, I asked about the zinc thing, but I forgot to look at the, the comments. Whatever. Maybe it's was Urban Dictionary yet. Let's see. When will I start an OnlyFans? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, Fax Preacher, $2 Super Chat. I believe Destiny is a poor debate her debater. Can you beat him? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. I think it would, it would have to be on a topic where we're like... So I'm very, very good at political philosophy, but if we're going to talk about current events politics, like, like what's currently going on in the government, he'd probably destroy me in that. But philosophy, maybe we'd, we'd, we'd catch even, or maybe we'd end up agreeing to disagree or, or agreeing on a lot of things. It really depends on the topic. Let's see. Uh, Addiction Transfer Talent or Super Chat. This chronic person sounds like a parody of what leftists think right wings. So, by the way, if you haven't actually watched this content, I would encourage you to watch this content. By the way, be nice in the comment section or just don't comment at all. Research these creators for yourself and, and maybe make your own decision on which, which one of us is correct or not correct as opposed to just believing everything I say blatantly. Go do your research. Hopefully, I... I didn't make a mistake, and I actually showed all the videos that were that were up here. Let's see. Thoughts on Patrice O'Neill? God, I haven't listened to Patrice O'Neill in, in a long, long time. I, I can't get have accurate thoughts on that. I know he unfortunately died really young. Let's see. Mm, no. Let's see. 
Let's see, five, 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 ten dollars, ten dollars super chat. Thank you for the thought provoking content. Been watching for two years and pivotal in my life and self improvements. Disconnect from the modern craziness. Hope you have a great night, uh, Eastern time. Let's see. I don't know. Sorry, I've, I put that one on screen on accident. It's a uh, comments insulting under chronic. I'll, I'll be um, logically consistent and not post that. If I'm not going to post any bad things about myself, I shouldn't post just blatant insults against him that are that aren't um, criticism of the, uh, criticism of the behavior. This one's fairly a criticism of the behavior. Uh, let's see, ten dollars super chat. Misaki T, ten dollars. Uh, do you support the original MGTOW movement, but not the new one? Like some people differentiate between, between modern and classic feminism. I support a lot of the tenets of the original stuff, where it's like, and I, I said I changed my mind during COVID for a very specific reason. But the original tenets of MGTOW were uh, some messed up shits happening in in family court. And by the way, those things are very very valid uh, criticisms. Family court has. Hmm. Maybe I should go back and, and research more specific things, but but in, from what I've seen in family court over the past couple of years is that it's it's very very much a kangaroo court. There's the standards of proof are a lot lower than like criminal courts or even civil courts. So a lot of things are just uh, like I don't like things like if if you're uh, the the she should live in the lifestyle she's accustomed to. So if I make let's say I were like a rock star and I made a hundred million dollars a year, well then she gets like. Five million of that every single year, so she can live in the lifestyle that she's accustomed to. No, no, none of that. If, if you're rich, none of that money should go to to more than what she would need to live. If we're trying to be fair here, and, and I'm a person that don't believe in child support, but I think there's a lot of stuff that's unfair about about family court, and that needs to certainly be reinvestigated. I think someone was bringing up on a podcast I was watching about there. There's um, again, don't don't quote me on this. I have not researched this, but allegedly the the government's get gets a kickback from from serving the child support payments so there 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 could be very much incentive to to get child support into the system because there's there's a, a tax on it so you're taxing money that's already been taxed a bunch of times like how they tax uh inheritance funds that's already been taxed anyone addicted to corn should not call anyone a simp yeah I mean, you're saying all these thoughts are here, and if you're watching porn, then what? How how can you criticize when you're when you're engaged in the behavior? Like like how can Undead Chronic criticize the single motherhood behavior when he's like, oh, I've had more than fifty partners. I just I pump and dump, or well, I don't say pump and dump, but I I have uh, lots and lots of casual sex. Well, you're doing the exact thing that causes the situation that you don't like, so you don't really have a right to complain. I mean, it's not all the, that's at least all the super chats that are on on the feed. Um, let me do like a quick look through the uh, YouTube interface. Yeah, I think I've seen most of these. Let's see, maybe go through chat a little bit. My voice is really starting to hurt. Because it doesn't count for men. Yeah, but if you're trying to say that women shouldn't be promiscuous, then you should at least have some of that behavior in you as well. Like, don't don't sit there and call women whores for having ten sexual partners, and meanwhile you've got fifty. Like, you know that that affects you the same. If you if you're sitting here saying, "Oh, I, I've I've had sex with fifty different women," but suddenly I'm going to be able to commit to one chick, how do you even know that? How do you even know you'd be faithful in that case? Anyone explain that? If we were just saying Undead Chronic is not MGTOW, explain that. Then, then why is he shitting on me for being MGTOW? I, I don't know. Undead Chronic is leafy. I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. All right. I think, I think that's most of what I have to say. Um, please stop asking about my opinion on Fresh and Fit. I've said it in almost every live stream. I think I even said it in this live stream. I said it in a video. Fresh and Fit false DMCA'd people because they didn't like their opinions. So they aren't free speech. They're about as free speech friendly as Eliza Blue. I thought it was funny that that 
either Hammerhand or Undead Chronic called Britney Venti Boring when Britney has been responsible for two two viral events in the past six months. She started the Balenciaga thing, got zero credit for that, by the way. The Balenciaga weird content with children uh, drama that happened a few months ago and the Eliza Blue thing. So far more relevant. All right, anyway. If I'm all done with, instead of child support, support why not get to... I don't know why they don't have a certain things in, in place where like they give you a child support debit card so that you can only spend so they have there's a there's a history of what you spent the money on so you can't like do this shit where like you get child support and spend it on your nails and then maybe they should be doing paternity tests before child support gets paid out uh, what's my real name my real name is Sean hmm Uh, no, I don't support child support because I don't support the uh, violent transfer of funds. There, there, there needs to be another way to resolve that issue. And when I say violent transfer, I mean if you don't pay it, you go to jail. That's violence. That's 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 coercion. All right. Anyway, that's. That's that's good enough for me. That's I've read all the super chats. I'm just gonna say bye. And uh, in 35 minutes, when I figure out how to end the stream, I'll we'll just say it's over. So anyway, let's see. I think I have to end it here and then end it on Google as well. Give one specific example of the gender pay gap. Go into Google and then sorry to, to not end this. Go into Google and then type in average income of men and average income of women. And you're gonna see that the average income of men is higher. That's a pay gap. Does it mean that's sexism? No, 